Sunrail MMA here at the Cage Warrior 73, the Metro Radio Arena in Newcastle, with the happiest man in MMA, Lou Long. It doesn't seem that long ago that we were standing in Newport. Is this a new, you know, this is a resurgent Lewis Long in the welterweight division. How good does this win over Matt Inman feel? I mean, I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody, guys. But like when Enzo, you know, sadly, he's just a pawn in the game. I think well on the ladder has got to go now. You know, you know, on paper, a lot of people would have, would have said that perhaps his, his, yeah, his technique and his technical ability versus your brother. But you put it on him from the start. Was that the game plan? Keep him on the back foot and just land big and heavy? I never have a plan. I'm like a dog with a bone. I just thought, oh, well, he, he, he's wingy. He likes to... He's going to go long arms, but I don't think he's got long arms. <laughs> I got like a banana peel, like fucking, like right down there, I'm like an ape. I don't know, you know fucking. But yeah, you know, he's a good fighter, man. I like his style, man, because he, uh, when he likes good music. Yeah, yeah he comes out with a bit of Hendrix, like, uh, and he's got my style stuff, he's cool, man. And I've uh, beaten some good guys, so I mean. It's obviously it's something I'm doing right, yeah. Well, this is, again, two, it's, yeah. it's two like big it. wins on Cage Warriors on the trot. Are you, yeah. you, are you anxious to step into the Cage Warriors ring before the end of this year? Or, you know, that was a pretty quick turnaround. Depends if Tom Breeze or the other one pulls out, Phil Pum out, I'll fucking step in. November 15th, you heard it here. <laughs> Breeze or Mud Peter, we got the replacement. It, 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 you know, I, I know you're not going to call someone out, or maybe no, you are, but no, you know, no. you're on the journey towards that title, the title oh, that, that, that Dolby is, the Dolby has. I'll fight you with or without there, like, if I can. Who do, who do you see as the, the stepping stones oh, on the way there? I was if I wanted, like, I remember, I remember the first show I went to, right? It's fucking into the rough house years ago. I remember, I remember being backstage drinking, I was just like Ricky Wright, I was doing Ricky Wright, right? Fucking give him a mention, he's a bastard. Give him all the fucking fame. He's done nothing for me. Backstage drink, like, drinking, and he's like a damn hardy and that. And now look at him, like, now look at all these guys, like, it's a shame and Jimmy isn't in the BSF at UFC, you know? But I've fucking watched him for years, you know, he'd be, he'd be a kick again. Okay. Would, would that be a dream fight at Cage Wars for you? You stepping I, I, in with I, I, the vet? I was just like, go, oh, the weekend comes, and it's just like so surreal, I just like don't think about anything, so. La la la, la la la. Next thing you know, I just think it's a wait to get next number there. I just jumping around. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I gotta, stupid, like, you know. I gotta tell you, standing next to you is the most uh, is almost as much fun as watching you in the cage because you're so full. And is, is this is this a, a, adrenaline from a big win? Are you always this sort of happy go lucky? Yeah, I am. I'm happy go lucky. Yeah, you know, obviously, I am a bit grumpy, like, so, you know, but I do have mood swings. But you know, you gotta you take a rough this move, you diet, then you're fighting at the end of the day. You know. Well, I, I tell you, the, the last two fights have been sweet and put you on the welterweight map in Cage Warriors for sure. Behind a performance like that, there's got to be people you want to thank, people you want to shout out responses you want to name, please. Yeah, again, right? everybody knows who they are. They know I love them. As I said before, I work with them every day. You know, they see the best and the worst of me. Generally the worst. But I do, I do make the coffee. Yeah, I make a bloody coffee, yeah? Is it any good, the I coffee? I have to make the coffee. I can't believe it. And it's I just a... Like, does he fight better than he makes coffee? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, at least you're doing the right thing. You fight better than you make coffee, mate. <laughs> Look, uh, yeah, can I can thank my sponsors. I gotta do it. Yeah. Uh, AK have always supported me for, well, for a couple of months. Now. They've been brilliant, you know, sweet. And uh, AK Athlete King, sorry. And uh, Gamble Sports, where just started helping me out. I haven't got any of the gear yet, but, you know. Yeah. High five. Woo! Look, you are always a pleasure to watch. Even more fun to interview after, mate. <laughs> thank you so much for your time, and congratulations on a huge win. Thank you. Cheers, pal. Have you all well done. Give me